Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. So today is gonna be just a little bit easier day for me because I have to run out the door and get some uh, appointments today. So that always takes up time in my day. If I wanna film a video, but I've gotta get some stuff done early. So this is what we ventured into doing over at the shop. Let me share with you here. What are we doing here today? We are here doing a new business. Uh, I guess you could say Venture. new product launch. New product launch, right? yes, there you go, a product yeah. launch, there you go. Good little family product launch. So you guys know I have my YouTube channel. There you go. No, no we have the see. YouTube channel, and then we do like, like T, I think it's Teespring, is that the company? I don't even know what it is. I'm not really Link sure. below, most people use them, it's just a third party thing. You're limited by what you can do. It's just like random. So, you know, I'm like, you know, why don't we like invest in the equipment? Like Greg has a vinyl mm -hmm. cutter right here. And then we just invested in a heat press. And I thought this would be a great avenue to let the kids venture out. Yes, because what older. we do also have is we have a highly talented daughter. Who's really good at designing. Yeah, she loves I am to not do that design work and she's into the art. And she's been over here and she's learning how to use all the software and how to do everything. Yeah, and so, and that's just not my, I'm like, I'm trying to like, I went through all these Adobe classes and they're like, you need to brand yourself. You need to get yourself a logo. And I'm like, mm. what? And so I have like, Greg's like, Greg designs, but he like, honey, he like gives me all these great, great, like really nice logos, like, like his sign. Let's go over here and see your, can I see your sign? Like this is, you know, like Greg does really good sign. Like, look at this is his business sign. Like real nice. Like for me, I would just do like simple black letters. So it's like, he wants to do great. And I'm like, no, honey, just do simple. No, like just make it a circle with like words on it. So I'm like real plain. And so I've like have but not. But that's you. That's what you like. That's why I like simple, plain, simple. Like words. nice, elegant, but simple. Yeah. So he just likes more. So it's, I've been hard trying to find like a logo design. Then I'm like, I don't even know. So then I'm like, we just need to do something. So Brooklyn sat over here the other day and she was working on a logo for me. So she came up with this right here. We did both computers were set up and we had different things. So this is what we came up with here. Just have it simple, have my name in it with faith, food, and home. And then, so she designed this up, this little logo for me here. So what we did is I got this and I ordered some paper here, for, or not paper, what's the stuff called? Tra heat H transfer. HTV, heat transfer vinyl. Yeah, this is all new to me. Everybody else is like in the cricket game and all that stuff, and, yeah. or cricket, however it is. But I don't know any of this stuff, so it's real simple though. And just cutting these out over here. So since I bought my, Greg has like giant big rolls here. So they hold down a lot better, but I just got these smaller ones because of the heat transfer vinyl, and I didn't really know how much to get or what to do. Yeah, it so. comes in a really super tight roll, and uh, I've never really experienced this lifting before, so I assume like a, like you said, the cricket machine. Yeah, I think that's what they're for, so he just, what is even in here? Like a nail? Yeah, I got the I got, I got, oh, just taped up the screw. Smart, so use that to pull your vinyl down. Yeah, just a little weight. <laughs> that works good. A little counterweight there, just to kind of help hold the vinyl. So that's it. Cut on here. We've already processed through. I don't know if you can really pick it up on camera or not. But we'll see. I can't see here. There's a bunch of her logos on there that are intended for aprons. Aprons. You hear that, people? We got some aprons. <laughs> Who doesn't love an apron? I love an apron. If you guys watched last week's video, you would have seen the apron in there. So I think we'll just cut Put it this out. Cut it big. This would not be the fun part of life right here. Thank goodness I have children and a husband that doesn't mind pulling this off like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, for some reason it's um It's like weird, oddly satisfying, you know. I don't think so. <laughs> to peel it, peel it all off without ripping the. I'd be like that. Uh, ripping the off. letters right off. That's some skills. That's why I would not be doing that. There it is. 
Oh, we're, oh, not done. More. we're not done yet. There's more. Look at all that. Like, zoom in on the tiny detail. I guess that's why I put just like a triangle and square in and that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Black letters. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So there's that one. There it is. And then this is this design we put on the right. aprons. Let me hold it. You cut this one out. <laughs> you trust me? I do. <laughs> it takes a very steady hand. Like I can't even see it. Get right down in there, baby. I can't even see. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got an edge. It's my first time. My first letter. Yay. You have to do every individual letter. Mm -mm. They're not all connected, right? Mm -hmm. They're not connected. Oh, wait, do we pull the oh, letter? Oh, you just ripped off ah! the part. <laughs> baby, you, baby. Why you <laughs> Why you the work to them? He's watching me pull the eye off. No, I couldn't tell. I was too far away. I'm all blind, right. too. It's all you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a that's an easy mistake to make right there. See, thinking that you have to take the letters when you actually have to remove the background. <clears throat> Let's see if we can save it. Let's do like a redo it like I never even did that, but yeah. I'll actually show it. Yeah, rewind your video. <laughs> no, I didn't know how it was going on. I've never done this before. Uh, it's the outside, you so you can't actually tape the sides It's down. like a super easy mistake to make. Because you're just pulling it down, right? Yeah, it's going to be hard here because it's sticky. Okay, we'll let him put this back in and I'll try again. All right. Oh, look, so much easier. Just pull the outside off. And you can make this easier on yourself. I'm just lazy. You can make uh, strategic cuts in the vinyl you know, to help facilitate pulling it off. I just know that these letters are big enough and the situation is such that you can just yank it all off there. Pull the right one. <laughs> like, see, I'm really, even, I'm really even stretching it out pretty, pretty good here. And they're still staying stuck. You don't really have to be as critical of how you peel on just the make bigger sure you stuff. Peel the correct one. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. Key. Yeah, the key is just getting the right, don't take right stuff. Off. But see, what I was saying would make it would make it a lot easier to peel is if you just took the razor and just scored it in between. Oh, there you go. You know what I mean? So you're only just peeling, peeling that off one that section. Off. Is that all of it? I think that's it. There it is. Very nice. And then we purchased a bunch of navy colored aprons here, as well as a heat press here. So we got this one from Vivor. This is the same company that does our ice machine at home. Really good, really nice, like awesome. It's got different, it's got the heat press for like material flat stuff. You'll see this is for cups. You can also do plates like a small plate or a big plate and then this is for a hat like the brim of a hat these don't go together so hat pieces which is good we don't have any of that right now but we just have cups and this right here so what they do look at this lift and it up this machine is really great i think what we'll do first is we'll do a cup form okay because it's set up with the cup attachment right now so I just peeled this one off, did good, not too bad on the things, and we are gonna do a mug right here, which is really good. So we've got the navy, and I've got some rose gold mugs. Look at that, put that on. That stays on there pretty good. Yeah, and the yeah. heat transfer will make it stay much longer than just like a regular vibe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's designed just for this. It's got the correct glue and all that's necessary on the back of it. 
to how excited I'm got to watch this process yet. So yeah, it's really cool. So uh, the neat thing about this machine is whatever your previous heat set was, it saves it. It, it retains it. Nice. Which is a really cool feature. So you turn it on, and the way that you get through your settings is through the mode. So that one gets your temperature, and then your time set. How, long is how it many seconds you seconds. want it to go? So on the shiny mug, we're gonna we're gonna double the time. The recommended time was 3:20 at like eight seconds. So I noticed that it didn't hang real good to the last cup. So we're gonna go ahead and double that time. Nice. And that's ready to go in there. Does that have to have a lid on it? No, it doesn't matter. Look at that. What? Okay, make sure it's sort of snug in there. And then hit the start button. Look at that. And then just open it up. And just that quick, it's on there. And that gets hot. That is so hot. Okay, so how do you know it did good? What I'm looking for is I'm looking to see that the glue on the back side is yeah. as seeped out around each one of the letters. Just a little bit. You know what I mean? And if you if, if you if you see too much seepage on the glue, you can always, you know, back your time up. So that was 16 seconds. And it looks like the glue is pretty even as far as how much it leaked, you know, kind of seeped out from underneath the vinyl. Looks consistent all the way through. So I'd say that we're right on there. Okay, so it's like that's it. Yeah. All right, so ready? <laughs> So this is a really super simple process when you're going from the cup module to the t-shirt print. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just unscrew this. This is your, like your power feed, power feed plug. Sounds good. Sorry, I'm terrible at this stuff. You're great. Let's plug that in. Nice. You can just go silent with all this if you like. <laughs> okay, so we're back. Now the t-shirt was 250 Okay. at 20 seconds. So we'll go back into our, our mode. Set that back down to 250. Can you hold it? Does it skip numbers? It does. Okay, I just wanted to... But it to... flies. Okay. <laughs> what if it was like the... Yeah, it does. It books. Thermostat in the house. <laughs> 250. Okay, so it's got our 250. And then this is going to go up to 20 seconds. Nice. And then if you hit both of them, it takes it. The cool feature of it yeah. is how it swings right out of the way. So you like got some room. You. I'm thinking yeah. I'm going to have to rent a table out in your shop here. I don't know where we're going to put it, but... Mm. <laughs> I'll rent, maybe, I'll rent you this little corner Maybe I'll rent right this here. little corner mm -hmm. right here. <laughs> maybe in exchange for dinner every night, maybe? Yeah. Sounds like, sounds like a fair trade. So we got these aprons, and these are really nice. Resistant, they don't like, like I like aprons, but when they get dirty, it's like, I don't like seeing stains on them all the time. So these are nice and uh, durable. And They do feel really durable and water nice. repellent. There it is. It's like it's a real tight weave. Yes. So if you're splashing around in the kitchen and stuff, you're not gonna wind up wearing it on your clothes. There it is. The vinyl doesn't like to stick as well to the material, material. so you kind of got to be Hold it. gentle with it. Carry it carefully in one hand, then walk over to your place. See, that's why I need to rent a table spot. Oh, yeah. There he goes, lining that up on there. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, down it goes. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna set our temperature. So that happens to your mode button. So we've got our 250 set. We've got our time set for 20 seconds. And then once the light's clear, you know that you got your sets. So you got your mode that takes you from temperature, set, and time, and your plus and minus for each category. And then once it makes it to that temperature that you set, then you're clear to hit the play button. So do you have to put it down first? Yep. Do it yep. up. Ready? Do it. There it is. And can you slide it over? Look how fun. There it is. Look at that. So I think what we'd probably be good to do is the other part. Is let this let this cool off. Okay. And, and how about in between? Come back and do the little pocket. Yeah, we'll peel the cup off. Sounds good. Good. 
Don't let the rib letters rip up at the same time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There oh my it is. Gosh. Do it very gently. Look at that. Nice. And you see how you can just see the witness of the glue mm -hmm. around the outside? I would say that's about perfect. You are designed, created, and selected. I like it. Very nice. So we've got these ones. Go ahead and center this guy out. And then for each product, I wanted to have logo on there. Well, which is a great idea. So the cups we couldn't because they were too, uh, too small to cut out of the vinyl. So I think we're just going to get little stickers for that. But So it'll be this exact same thing? Right, same thing, just a little bit smaller. I can stick on the bottom of the cup or whatever. Oh, that's a good idea. I think that'll work. Swing? Swing it. All right, let's swing it, babe. Did it pop up? <laughs> let's see if it popped off. <laughs> Is it going to be crooked on is the pocket be is the question. Nope, it's on. Greg's oh, like, it is. <laughs> Greg's like, you can't say that in the film. And I'm like, why? It's like real life. And look, it popped off. See? See what happens? I Should have checked it. That's okay. Mm. Look at that. I feel like it peels off easier when it's warmer. I, yeah, I was just going to say. Look at those. Right there, nice, nice. look at that. A little apron and logo. Hi right, baby, so there it is. There what do you think? Are you, you happy think? with it? I don't, can't see it, but I think you can. Good? Look at that. I'm designed, created, and selected. You are. And the logo right here, you got a little pocket you can put something in. You know, your phone, your earbud, whatever you want in there. Nice. Just nice aprons. There it is. I like it. Brooklyn Hot picked out the colors, the navy and the rose gold. We thought would be a good color scheme because again she's like mom pick some colors to go with your thing i'm like i don't know so we chose these i thought this was really good so perfect all right let's do the navy cup okay here we are all right so we have to go in we had to replug that in reset for the cup thing so just push your moan and change your temperature what do we have 320 i think is what they recommended and then on on uh these ones are more um, matte Yeah, cups. they're more of a matte, so they recommended eight seconds on these ones. Yeah, it's the rose gold one's a little bit shinier. So we'll give it more time. We'll give it a little bit more. We'll give it, we'll give it nine. So it gives you a little... Beef that's ready? Yeah, 320? The, the temperature is set. So we got our graphics set. And then squeeze it shut. There it is. Look at that. And that sticks, that sticks really well to the mat. Look at that. So here's your choices. Look at these. Nice. I like them. I love this one. And the I most. like the navy one the best. Mm -hmm. So that is our new little business venture. Still in the pre trial um, parts because we got to see like what works good, what doesn't. See if those little decals are going to stay on for you know repetitive washing on the cups and things but well, let me know in the comment section below if that'd be something you would be interested in helping to support our channel here so all right and then i'm going to make food today let's make some food i've got see some sliders to make so these are the sliders that i got from the discount store i've had these in my freezer for a while so the buttons got a little squished in here but they're very very nice like little burgers so just frying them on my pan over here, just real guys, put a little bit of um, grapeseed oil in here while I'm frying them. And the buns, they were kind of smushed, so I had to kind of cut them carefully. It's okay. It's, it's better than nothing. <laughs> getting it on there and then um, just assembling here. I had some leftover onions in the refrigerator here, so I'm gonna chop those up.
and saute those. And put some cheese in here and assemble the burgers. Okay, those were delicious, really good little sliders. So we're gonna have that today with the mac and cheese left over from his birthday. I don't need to make any more food today, so this is easy, because we have an appointment to get to today, and I don't have to worry about making dinner when I get home. Those are delicious. Those are really, really good. Remember they were that box in the discount store, and you're like, are these gonna be good or not? Those are actually really, really good. So be able to layer them, they'd be good for parties. We'll just eat them for our family, but putting pickles on them like that, catch them a mustard, oh. So, so good. It tastes like a White Castle slider. So, all right, I'm going to close today's video because I have a busy day today. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, you are designed, created, and selected by God to do great, wonderful things. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.